guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually my Bath & Body Works full collection video. So I'm going to be showing you everything that I have from body care to candles and I also have a little bit of stuff that isn't Bath & Body Works but I thought I'd show you anyways. So if you're interested in seeing all that I have then just keep watching. To start it off I just put everything on my bed and so I'll give you a quick overview of everything that I have and then we'll get into it. So let's start over here with all of my body creams. So right now, I'm actually using the Christmas Cookies body cream. This one is so good. It is creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel wood. So this one is like one of my favorites. It smells so good. I love the ones that are like really sweet smelling. Um, so this one I am trying to work through finishing. I've been using this since, no not November. Well, yeah, maybe November or December. So quite a good amount of use out of that. And then this next one, um, this will be the one that I go to after that one, Papaya Paradise Cove. I'm pretty much almost empty. I'm about right here with this one. So this one will go pretty fast. And then I've got um, Pearberry, which is pretty much full. Georgia Peach and Sweet Tea, which is also pretty full and then Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And this is the one I had for fall of last year, so I'll probably pull this back out in the fall of this year. So right over here, I have all of my body lotions and shower gels. I only have five. So currently, I'm using the duo of Champagne Toast. It smells so good. I don't know how I haven't gotten into this before. I know it's like a recurring holiday scent right around like New Year's and Christmas, and I really love it. So these two, this I have in my shower, and this one I use right after I shower. And then I also have Mary Cherry Cheer, which I've never tried before. And I mean, it smells really good. It's uh, maraschino cherry, pomegranate cider, and sugar musk. I don't really think this is like solely a Christmas scent. It smells really good. Um, so I'll probably use this after I finish with those two. And then this one's actually really old. <laughs> it's Paris Amour, and I'm sure you guys remember all the Paris scents that they used to have. Um, it doesn't even have fragrance notes on this, I think, because it's like really old. But I'm trying to get some more use out of this because I realize it's going to go bad pretty soon. So I need to finish that one. <laughs> and then next I have this Aromatherapy Body Lotion in Sleep. It is black chamomile scented. Um, I never really got into the Aromatherapy line. Sometimes it gives me headaches. So I don't use this that much. But um, it does smell really good. So next up here I have three hand soaps. So I did, I was using this in the summer last year, Peach Bellini, um, and then I switched over to all my fall and winter scents. So this is the last winter scent I have. It's Toasted Vanilla Chai, and I don't know how I've never tried this before, but this might be one of my favorite scents ever. So I'm definitely going to have to get more of that stuff whenever it comes out in the winter again. And then I also have Island Papaya, which smells really good, and I haven't used it yet, so get good use out of that this summer and then right here I have stuff that is not Bath and Body Works but I figured I'd show you guys anyways so this is Love Beauty and Planet uh, Muru Muru Butter and Rose body lotion haven't even opened this one yet um, Stone Street Soap House body cream this one smells really good I just got it in a Fab Fit Fun and then I have this soft soap pomegranate travel size shower gel I have a Dr. Teal's bath collection um, in lavender that I got for a Christmas gift. So the next thing I have is the Cetaphil Intense Moisturizing Cream. This is just like a really good hand cream. I've got this one that I also got in a FabFitFun box. It's Levito um, Nourishing Hand Cream. It's musk, coconut, and shea butter. This will be really good for summertime. I've got a little Corazone Cream. This also I received in a FabFitFun box, the Deep Sleep Body Cocoon Lotion. Yeah. And then the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream that I was using on my face for a little bit, but now I'll use on my body. And then moving up here, I have my travel size sets. So this isn't actually a set, but I did get them together because I thought that they were, oh well, they were a free gift, so it's fine. Um, this is the Endless Weekend Body Lotion and then the Pretty as a Peach travel size shower gel and then I did get these three as a set the twisted peppermint uh, shower gel body lotion and spray I really 
I don't know if I like this that much. <laughs> Um, I just got it because it was very, you know, wintry and stuff, but I'm not really the biggest fan of this, so I don't think I'll get it again after I use it. And then these are my two body scrubs. So I have Vanilla Bean Noel from this year. It's almost gone. And then I have this Lavender and Sandalwood Clay Body Scrub. It's really unique, and I think it's pretty old, so <laughs> I need to use this one up too. And then my last um, butter... I don't even know what this nourishing body butter is the cloud butter electric blue sky and it smells so good and it's my last body butter and then I also have this um, hydrating body oil when they came up with their mineral line it's in moonstone and I don't know I tried this when it first came out and I bought it and I didn't really like it that much so I hope that maybe I'll use it this summer when I get first get out of the shower and I hope that it will, you know, be okay, but I don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of this. All right, so we're moving on to the other side of the bed, and so starting off, I have some fragrance mists, and the first thing that I have is actually a hair mist from last summer. It's the Havana Tropical Vanilla and Cherry Moya, I don't know, hair perfume. Um, I thought it smelled really good, and I haven't really used it that much, so, oh well. Um, this next thing is the Almond Blossom Fragrance Mist. This smells so good. It's really like a perfume to me. And then um, one of my favorite scents that they haven't come out with again, I don't think, in Christmas time is Frosted Wonderland. It is so good. I was looking if it had the fragrance, but it doesn't have the notes. But it smells so good, and I've gotten quite a bit of use out of this. I've had this for a few years, too, so that'll last me a while. And then along with that like mineral line, I also got the Rose Quartz Illuminating Fragrance Mist. This one is also very perfumey, and it kind of has two package sides that you can put it. You could put it on this side or put it on the other side. It's almost a little too strong for me. It's kind of like gives me a headache, but if I wear it when I'm going out somewhere, then it's okay. I don't know. This one's kind of okay. And then this is a pretty old one. It's I don't even know if it's called Love, Love, Love or what, but um, I've used quite a bit of it. I really love the smell of this, but it's pretty old. <laughs> and then I also have a Vanilla Bean Noel fragrance mist. This just smells so good. Vanilla Bean Noel is my favorite scent, not just in holiday, but just in general. I really like the vanilla smells. I really like the sweet smells. So this one is perfect. And then I've got this pretty unique little thing. Um, they came out with this in the winter of this year. It is the Mint Drop Exploiting Lip Scrub. And I know they came out with a few of them. Um, maybe a lemon one and one other one. But I got the mint one and it actually tastes really good. So if they come out with this again, I highly recommend getting it. And then another body mist that I have that I'm actually almost out of that I figured I'd show you guys is the Pink Warm and Cozy um, Body Mist. It smells so good. Okay, moving on, we have all my pocket bags. Now, these aren't all of them because I do have a few in my car and in my purses and stuff, but um, this is everything that I could gather. So we'll start off over here. These are the kind of like summery ones and then the wintry ones. So I've got You're the Best, which is just like fruity and florally. I've got Sweetest Strawberries, which smells so good. I've got vanilla coconut, and I think I have another one of these in my handbag as well. I got two vanilla coconuts. I have gingham. I actually really like the gingham smell. I don't think I could take it in like body care, but in just like the pocket back, it smells really good. And then stress relief, eucalyptus and spearmint. I don't really like this one. <laughs> I don't really like the aromatherapy ones. They give me headaches, so I don't know why I got that. Mm, whatever. And then I have some Christmas uh, pocket back scents. The Snuggle is Real, which is cinnamon spiced vanilla. Smells really good. I've got Merry and Bright, which is sparkling icicles. Has a little bit of glitter. And then I've also got Winter Candy Apple, which I almost finished this past Christmas, but I didn't quite. And then the Son of a Nutcracker one, which is pomegranate spruce. Smells really good too. And then I've also got this little travel size thing for it, which I don't really use that much, but I have it if I need it. And then I've got these two mini hand creams. So I've got Twisted Peppermint, which actually stays in my purse. 
And I've also got marshmallow pumpkin latte, which I don't think I'll get this again. Just because, yes, it smells like pumpkin, but it's a little too marshmallowy for me, and I don't like the marshmallow scents, so don't know about that one. So moving on, I've actually only got three wallflowers left. So since I moved back home, my family's not big on scented things um, as much as I am. So I'm trying to just get rid of these and we're using them in the hallway right now. And I think I have a pistachio ice cream one in the hallway right now. So we'll use these next ones up and I don't think I'll buy these again until I move out. But this is the rose water and ivy one, which actually is... I can't do floral scents like they make me have a headache so I probably will never get that again and it'll be kind of rough burning that one but that's okay and then mango mai tai which I know smells so good and peppermint brownie which I guess I'll wait until around Christmas time to bring this one out and then I also have these four candles that aren't Bath and Body Works that I figured I'd show you guys so this first one is the DW Homes Christmas morning scent and let me tell you it smells like a beautiful, mm, freshly, freshly brewed cup of coffee. It smells so good. And then I got this um, Our Own Candle Company Tropical Paradise Candle. I got this off of Amazon actually because I was craving some fruity candle scents and this just happened to be on Amazon so I got it. <laughs> and I have this White Vanilla Pumpkin Mini Candle from uh, Hobby Lobby actually. It smells really good. And then I've got this Ray Dunn in partnership with DW Homes Stay Cozy Candle. And this is in warm cashmere. I, I love the smell of this so much that I don't want to finish it. Like I'm almost there, so I don't want to finish this one. It smells so good. And then we can get started on the candles. So we'll start off with this peach scented candle from White Barn. And I did just have this burning, so I don't want to set it up for too long, but I really like this smell. I usually don't like the fruity smells. I really only like, like, bakery, gourmand, and, like, vanilla smells. But this one smells really, really good. And then, speaking of bakery, um, I have some winter and fall candles left. So I have pumpkin cupcake, which I actually really hate. Um, <laughs> It smells a little too much. Let's read the notes. Uh, whipped buttercream, vanilla, pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcakes. I get no pumpkin from this. I only get buttercream. I only get buttercream, and that's like sickly sweet for me. So I, I don't like this, but I'll probably try to finish it before fall again. Um, I have white... No, sorry, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. This one smells pretty good. I don't usually like the marshmallowy scents, um, but Tahitian vanilla is one of my favorites, so I knew I'd like it. So, yeah, this one's pretty good. I don't think I'll get it again next year, but it smells good. And then I've got spiced gingerbread. You can't go wrong with this one. It really smells like you're baking gingerbread cookies. That one was really good. I have leaves, which I actually got in the... I think at candle day and I've burned it a little bit but I kind of want to save it for fall if I can make it that long um, but it smells so good leaves is one of my favorites and then we've got our more spring and summertime ones so I've got pistachio ice cream which I haven't been burning because we have our wallflower out in the hallway so I don't really need to burn this right now but I don't really like it either um, pistachio is not my favorite and I just don't like these kind of scents and then speaking of that I have lavender marshmallow I hate I hate this one I don't like the marshmallow scents and I don't like the lavender scent so I'm just trying to finish it I don't like this one at all um, and then I do have an aloha kiwi passion fruit this one smells so good it's like along with the peach one it smells just like very fruity and I do like the fruity candle scents so this one smells really good and then i've got this girl power candle which i think is actually uh strawberries let me see strawberry cupcake juicy red strawberries sparkling sugar and vanilla cake it does have some like weird oils at the bottom so if you guys can tell me what that means uh please do because i have no clue um but this one smells okay i probably won't purchase it again i don't really like cake smells i like more like spiced smells so that is my whole collection um i would love to hear what you guys have or if you have anything similar to what i have but yeah that is everything so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video